What's up guys, it's Crack, back for another Crack's Commute Cassette Review, and today we're going to be talking about um, a great band, The Cramps. Um, this is their release, A Date with Elvis. Uh, the Cramps were formed in 1976, and they existed until about 2009, after um, the singer Lux Interior passed away suddenly, and they were... Only two members that were, like, mainstays in the band, Lux Interior, the singer, and his wife, Poison Ivy, who played guitar and occasionally played bass as well. And um, these guys, I guess, would be classified as punk music if you wanted to be more into genre pigeonholing than they would go by, like, rockabilly or garage rock. Um, the singer Lux Interior actually coined the phrase psychobilly, so... Um, there's that too. It's kind of interesting. And this release was actually recorded in 1985 and released a year later in 1986 on Big Beat Records. This is actually their third official full-length album, not counting compilations. And um, this particular release is actually a reissue from 2001. This was originally reissued by um, Vengeance Records, the Cramps record label. But this particular release, I think, is Enigma. Yeah, Enigma Records. And what makes this different than their um, original release is there's like four, I think there's four bonus tracks on here. And they're all pretty good. They're some of the best um, tracks on here. This would be a pretty short release without it, so I definitely recommend you get the... Um, re-release with the bonus tracks if you're interested. Now, as far as the content, this is a pretty pretty good release for the Cramps. Um, not my favorite. Uh, there, there is some really good stuff, though. And their influences on this record, like, really come through. Like, some of the songs really remind me of, like, um, like, Dick Dale a lot, and, uh, what's that guy's name? Hansel Atkins, the hot dog song guy, if you know who I'm talking about. So, yeah, um, you can really hear the influences a lot. I kind of kind of feel like they sound less like the Cramps on this release and more like their influences, which is a good or bad thing depending on how you feel about that. But um, yeah, really, really good. Um, some of the best tracks on here are like, well, the ones that were like hits were "Can Your Pussy Do the Dog," which was actually, I think, on the Billboard charts. I might be wrong though, but um, a funny story is when I think about the cramps, I really don't think about like vulgarity. I mean, they have really campy humor in their songs, um, very sexual overtones, um, sexual double entendres, stuff like that. And there's also like like B movie references of like old horror movies and science fiction movies. But when I think about Cramps lyrics, I really don't think about vulgarity because they do it in a way that's kind of subtle for the most part. That's not to mean they don't, you know, use vulgarity, but they do it sort of subtly. And um, I was actually listening to this tape with my nephew in the car, and um, he's pretty young, like before you go to kindergarten. How old are you? Like five? I think he's five. Yeah, he's got to be five. It's pretty sad, I don't know. But anyway, I was driving him to his mother's house, and I had this tape on, and he liked it, and he was like kind of, you know, bouncing around. And I didn't think anything of it until he started singing the lyrics um, to the chorus of Can Your Pussy Do the Dog? And I was like, oh, fuck. And, um, yeah, his mom was not pleased because, you know, sometimes song gets stuck in your head, and he was like kind of singing that, so I fucking hope he forgot it, his mom is fucking pissed, but anyway, um, the lyrics are good, the, the tape is good, like I said, not my favorite Cramps release, but let's get into the packaging, so, um, for this cassette, since this is, like, a major label enigma, obviously, you know, you're gonna get a high quality, um, release, but usually, cassettes from this era didn't have much to the J card, but before we get to the J card, let's look at the uh, cassette itself. We just have your standard clear cassette here with the uh, logo up top. So pretty nice. Um, 
this actually says 1986 on it, which is not the year this cassette came out. Like I said, this came out in 2001, but um, originally in 1986. Anyway, here's the um, J card. So, track listing on the back. This does fold out to the uh, full picture, so that's pretty nice. Below that is a picture of the band, and then a, even more below that, we have some more pictures. Sorry about that glare. And um, the inside, it does have oops, down, a full um, lyric sheet, which is awesome. I So, this J card is actually, like, chock full stuff. And I really like to see that, especially for major labels, because they usually skimp on that type of shit. So, really nice packaging for this release. That's a nice touch. And, uh, yeah, pretty solid stuff. So, on my scale of... Um, skip it, tape it, or cop it. I would really have to give this just a tape it, unless you're a big Cramps fan, then it's obviously a must. But if you're just interested in maybe finding out about the Cramps, I would definitely steer you more in the direction of um, Bad Music for Bad People, an early compilation um, release that has all their good shit on it from when they first started, which I think is kind of like more interesting. Or um, Songs the Lord Taught Us, which is their actual first release, is really, really solid. And uh, Psychedelic Jungle, which is actually their release before this one, which is also really solid. That's not to say this is bad, because it is good. But I would say this is more, um, you know, for fans than if you're just getting into the cramps. But yeah, really good band. Definitely a tape it for me. Um, and that's it, guys. I'll see you later this week with uh, another cassette review.